Now, what we got here is a very rare sighting, and it's not often that you get to see this because it literally just happens only a couple of times a year, if only one time a year in actual fact. This is two lizards. Well, the male is trying his best to fertilize the female's eggs. The male is the more brightly colored of the two, the smaller, more brightly colored of the two, the one that's on top of the female trying to dominate her right now. He has her in a bit of a bite. He's bitten the side of her head and what he's trying desperately to do is to try and overpower the larger female in an effort to show her how strong he is. And she would have originally been attracted to him because of his vibrant colors. So these are two variable skinks and you can see how how colorful the male actually is compared to the female. Now it looks like he's hurting her but he isn't really. He won't risk killing her just because he wants to try and fertilize the eggs. All he's trying to do is hold on. Once the eggs are fertilized she will bury them and then they incubate in the ground using the sun's heat to grow. Hatching many months later, lizard eggs grow and, and take a long time to actually hatch out, probably only next summer. This is the first time I've ever seen variable skinks busy mating with one another. I don't think they're busy mating just yet. I think this is still, and this I say with uh, brackets around it, in courtship, the fact that he's got a stranglehold on her neck and is trying to overpower her at the moment, I suppose some would consider a little bit too aggressive. But you can have a look at how fast they're breathing. It's probably been going at it some time. Male busy pumping air into his lungs. Female's making these funny sort of jerky movements and I've got a feeling it's probably because she's exhausted, I would imagine. She's also going to be harboring her strength for these every now and again bursts of activity designed to break the hold of the male. But eventually what will happen, ah, he's moved off. And as I said, eventually what will happen is he'll get it right to inseminate her eggs. He will then have done his, performed his fatherly duties and he'll move off in search of the next female she will let the eggs get fertilized in her body, grow a little bit, find a suitable place to hatch or to lay her eggs. And that is also why she's bigger than the female, uh, than the male. She needs to basically develop a bunch of eggs out of her body tissues. And these animals are so on the, on the edge of being sort of too lean for these sort of things. So being a little bit bigger helps her to utilize her body to make the eggs. She'll then lay or hatch her eggs in, or lay her eggs, excuse me, I'm getting confused today. Lay her eggs in a hole, and then the temperature of the environment will hatch them out a couple of months later. So she's still there. She looked, no, no sign of any injury on her neck or anything like that. I'm busy having a closer look now to see if the male, they have got these slight serrations on their bottom jaw. 